Hi everyone! Welcome to this video. This video aims to help you and how to plot the Philippine area of responsibility on a tracking chart. When a weather disturbance enters the Philippine area of responsibility, pag asa monitors it. How do we know that a weather disturbance like typhoon enter part? First is we are going to use a tracking chart. But before that, we are going to plot the given points with the values of latitude and longitude. In this map, the latitude here are the values located at the y-axis. So, kani siyang naa sa top to bottom. Well, the longitude are the values nga naa sa ubos. So, or mga values nga naa sa x-axis. So, muna siya ang longitude. Say, for example, ang given values, 16 degrees north and 126 degrees east. Now, atong i-plot na siya diri sa ito ang map. So, here is 16 degrees north and naadiri sa ubos ang 126 degrees east. Kung asa nagtagbo ang linya sa 16 o sa 126, butangan na ni mo siya og mark. Going back to the location of the Philippine Area of Responsibility, we are going to use these points with the corresponding values of latitude and longitude on a tracking chart. Okay, I will plot point A first and we will do the remaining points so that you will know how to plot the Philippine area of responsibility. So 5 is in here while 115 is located here. So the point where 5 and 115 met is the point A. After plotting the points A, B, C, D, E, and F Connect the points from A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to F, and F to A. And the area within that points, mauna siya ang Philippine Area of Responsibility. Now, what if a typhoon is located at 5 degrees north and 138 degrees east. Is it within the park? No, it is outside the Philippine area of responsibility. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope you learn how to plot the points of the Philippine area of responsibility. Bye!